from the Cube Studios in Palo Alto and Boston. It's the Cube, covering empowering the autonomous enterprise. Brought to you by Oracle Consulting. Welcome back to the Cube, everybody. This is a special digital presentation sponsored by Oracle Consulting. We go out to the events, we extract the signal from the noise, and we're going to multiple locations to really try to understand better the rebirth of Oracle Consulting. Stephanie Trunzo is here. She's the head of transformation and offerings at Oracle Consulting North America. Stephanie, good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. Okay, so we talked about sort of the mission of Oracle Consulting. Now let's get into it and talk about what some of the customers are seeing. There's this you know, theme in the industry that Gartner brought up about bimodal IT. Yeah. You guys are talking about trimodal IT. Yep. So what is that all about? Well, two wasn't good enough, so yeah. we had to <laughs> add a third. <laughs> So bimodal IT, uh, two-speed IT, the idea there is a lot of modern enterprises are struggling with this challenge between the systems of record that they have that are have to be sources of truth, they're often slow to change, um, there's a lot of rigor around transforming those systems of record. And then on the, the second side, on the bimodal side, there are the systems of interaction or systems of engagement, they're sometimes called. And those systems are things like the applications where there's um, users, customers at the other end, and they need to move at the speed of business. And so the idea of bimodal IT and what a lot of our clients are struggling with currently is how do you serve both of those needs at the same time? There's mm -hmm. complications in the processes, the tools, and certainly in the budget. And at the same time, there's kind of looming out there this you know, threat almost that if you aren't in the AI, ML, data-driven world yet, you're going to fall behind. And so our clients are struggling with the fact that they have not yet successfully addressed bimodal IT, but still have to figure out how to get into this AI space. So our third system, hence trimodal IT, is the systems of intelligence. The third piece obviously relates to machine intelligence, AI, and ML. It seems like that type of of capability would apply to both systems of record and uh, systems of engagement. Is that is that how you're looking at it? Yes, and so the trimodal IT concept is kind of um, three different systems and how they interlock and relate to one another. If you think about systems of record, the currency, so to speak, for systems of record or processes. If you think about the currency for systems of interaction, it's the people, it's the users, it's the humans. And the, the currency for the system of intelligence is data to your point. Mm -hmm. So when you're talking about systems of intelligence, collecting and leveraging data from all three systems is going to be what fuels your system of intelligence going forward. And that's the common thread between all, all three, and it just seems to me that is ultimately the underpinning of modernization. I wonder what you, your customers, how do they view and how do you view modernization? So the awesome thing about being at Oracle is data is our DNA. That's where Oracle started from, that's where we still are today, is data underpins everything we do. All of the technology that we build is built on the understanding that it must be data driven. And so when we're looking at all three of those systems and you're looking at it from an Oracle perspective, data is at the heart of even systems of record, of even systems of interaction, not only the systems of intelligence. When our clients are looking at modernization, they're trying to figure out a way to kind of leapfrog this story and get the whole way to a place where they're getting intelligence and insights out of their data. They're not just unlocking it. They're not just moving workloads in a lift and shift kind of model. They're doing it because they want to serve the ultimate outcome that they get smarter as a business. Talk about cloud. Customers want to go from where they are today to some outcome, some end mm -hmm. point, and they don't want to spend a zillion dollars and they don't want to disrupt their business. They're going to have to make investments, clearly. Yep. How do they get from point A to point B on that cloud journey? So we've built something called the Cloud Evolution Framework. That mm -hmm. Cloud Evolution Framework has several different phases and stages, and it's intended to be uh, kind of a skeleton to have that conversation with clients. Um, are you thinking about all of the things you need to consider to make a healthy decision that has a real roadmap behind it? To your point on budget, and this is part of the trimodal IT conversation, mm -hmm. is they're struggling. I've talked to so many CIOs who are struggling to figure out, I right now am spending, you know, 90% of my spend is on maintenance of systems versus on innovation. So how do I shift that spending story to something that's actually going to move the needle on getting the business ahead, that's going to serve my stakeholders who are the lines of business in a way that is 
um, not additive to my budget, but actually a shift of the budget. And so we're looking at from a cloud perspective, helping our clients make that monetary shift, make the shift of the budget where they're self-financing their own innovation by getting smarter and faster on moving their workloads to the cloud. You guys use this concept, and others do as well, of the autonomous enterprise. You have autonomous database. I wonder if we could you know, drill into that, get past the buzzwords. What is the autonomous enterprise and, and what's Oracle's fit there? Yeah. I think one of the big misconceptions when people hear autonomous is that they think it means without people. And that's not right. <laughs> so autonomous means that you're helping elevate all the parts of the system to their highest value, which means you don't need to worry about security patches. You don't need to worry about repairing things on the, the database. Um, those kinds of autonomous things is, is the technology helping heal and serve itself. That doesn't mean you don't need people anymore. What it means is two things. You need the experts that can help make sure that you're optimizing the value you get out of the autonomous tooling, but it also means that the humans are now freed up to do different kinds of high value work. So an autonomous enterprise would be one where they're really sort of self-actualized in the sense that their technology is feeding itself, it's getting smarter, and they're getting insights out of that so that the people in their business are as valuable as they can be, leveraging the insights from the technology. So I can see how that trickles into IT, no question yeah. about it. C can, can the autonomous IT organization trickle into the autonomous enterprise? And, and I mean, I know it's sort of early days, but how do you mm -hmm. see that you know, shaping up? So the, these kinds of transformations, I believe, are fundamentally across the whole company. And, and this is true at Oracle as well. We have, um, we have something called Oracle at Oracle, and it's about drinking our own champagne and applying our own technology in-house. So it's not just in an IT organization capacity, it's across you know, HR, procurement, legal, every supporting function that you can imagine. Um, so that cultural change bleeds out across the entire body of the company. And I, I believe fully that if you're going after something like an AI mission or an autonomous enterprise you know, state, which is an evolution, that you need to involve everyone in the company in different roles. So what's that future state look like? I think the future state looks like a place where you're not just getting um, incremental gains on business processes or tasks that already exist. You're fundamentally um, seeing shifts in the way the business runs itself as a result of the technology learning and getting smarter and the people who are benefiting from that technology changing the way they operate in the company as well. Trimodal IT, we'll be watching. All right, Stephanie, thanks so much. It was great yeah, to see you. Yeah, absolutely, you. thanks. Right, and thank you for watching. You're watching theCUBE at this special digital presentation. We'll be right back right after this short break.